Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Restaurant Empire 2. It's been quite a long time since I've played this game. Um, I've played it uh, way back in the day, but I bought it off of like a third-party site uh, now, which I don't remember. So, um, I know I owned it at one point. I don't remember where it is. I saw it on Steam for like five bucks. Normally it's about 15 or 20, something like that. So I figured I'd pick it up and uh, play it again. It's fairly old, uh, but it still supports 1920 by 1080 resolution, which is nice. Although sometimes it can get a little wonky. Uh, if you alt tab, for example, and don't come back the right way, like if you, there's different ways to come back to the game. You can alt tab until you select the game again or which cycles through all the programs or uh, you could click on the program on the bottom with your mouse. You know, you could do that too. Depending on which way you do it, uh, you know, sometimes these menus here will not be selectable. So again, it's a little finicky because it's an older game, but hopefully this video works out in the end. Anyway, let's get to the gameplay, shall we? Uh, new game, sandbox, low game options, under options. Again, here's all your screen resolutions. Uh, not a whole lot, but, you know, 1920 by 1080 is pretty good for an older game. Windowed mode, user gamma, you've got uh, graphics quality, full screen glow, draw distance, floor reflection, shader quality, okay. Then next tab over, sound effects and music volume. <laughs> this is the part that makes me crack up. The music in this game, I have it off right now because uh, I don't want to get hit with copyright, but it sounds like porno music. Uh, it, it just, there's a guy in the background going, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, really? Why do you need that in a cooking gate? Why? You're running a restaurant. Anyway. Uh, any <laughs> Mouse sensitivity. Yeah, so just it, when you load this game up, if you load it up, it, just listen for it and you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, mouse sensitivity and context sensitive help. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll play, um, if we play a new game, that'll bring us through another campaign. Uh, Restaurant Empire 1, I own that game too. Again, not on Steam, but somewhere else. I did beat it, and there were two modes. There was the campaign, uh, and there was the sandbox. And the sandbox let you do anything you wanted, basically. In campaign, you had to gradually uh, improve your restaurant, and a lot of times uh, your goals were timed, which I did not like. I, I don't like timed goals. I like being able to take things slow. Here, it's like, if you don't get it right, within the first day of your assignment, like if, if you don't start the ball rolling the right way, you're gonna fail by the end of the third day or whatever. So that's the only reason why I don't recommend uh, campaign mode, but it's a good place to start if you're new to the game. Um, I, let's do sandbox. I mean, at least I can get my feet wet that way. All right, uh, player. All right, so that would be, I'm trying to delete it. All right, maybe I just have to start typing? No, that's weird. There. Again, finicky game. Uh, I think I'll specialize in American cuisine. I could also do coffee shop or dessert house. Select the chef. So far, they all look revolting. Is that it? No, uh, it got stuck. Some of them are repeats, but he doesn't look too bad, but that's Scarf Man. Just, just a regular chef jacket. All right, and him, but it looks like Mo from the Three Stooges. All right, I could take all, I could spend forever doing this. I don't want to, oh, does he have any eyes? Oh, from, I didn't, they didn't load in the previous rendition. Ooh. The, the, it's getting uglier and okay now we're into the females so we don't want to do that all right uh let me just find one that isn't too revolting Ugh. all right i guess that guy with the black jacket not him not no all right he's he's not too bad okay that's just all right so how do we continue from here next all right so steakhouse uh music restaurant seafood restaurant rainforest and i'm 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 looking wait yeah that way right here 
I love this camera. All right, Rain. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm testing this out. I, I'm new to this whole uh, this whole streaming thing. Well, I'm not streaming right now, but I'm I'm might as well be. I'm recording with the camera on. Aqua restaurant and racing themed restaurant. I guess let's just do steak. Starting capital five hundred thousand. Company color blue. Yes. I can name her anything I want. Ponderosa, the Alamo, Custer's Last Stand. How about Colt 45? And we'll station in Los Angeles, USA. Okay. I <laughs> guess they're not enjoying the music. All right. Um, so without the campaign to guide me, I'm going to be blundering about. Uh, okay, so I double clicked on the building. Here I am. How do you? Oh, w hides the walls. All right, right click allows me to rotate the camera. And again, I'm I'm figuring this out for the first time in a very 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 long time. How do, okay, zooming out with the mouse wheel, good. Okay, so I I guess we're gonna need a kitchen. How do I control? Okay, the arrow keys control the camera as well. It looks like there's a second floor. All right, so we need a build menu, do we not? That's my recipes, uh, food menu, restaurant list, staff panel, customer panel, wall visibility, interior panel, and what is that? And gra oh, I didn't want to open the restaurant yet. Temporarily close the restaurant for renovation. Yeah, no, we can't do anything right now. Um, what's this over here? Game options. Okay. Now I wonder if my little portrait down here is actually hiding some of these. Okay, no, I think we're good. Um, yeah, we can we can choose between different. Like in The Sims, you've got different things that provide you know comfort and decoration. Okay, this is I guess the best, and this is one of the worst. Uh, and you can even do it like a. I think we'll do two seaters mainly. Question is, well, I guess this we'll start with this one. Put it in the corner. One. We'll build from the corners. I don't want to make them too close to each other. All right, there we go. Oh, S actually, it's a the hotkey for saving. That's interesting. Again, I'm trying to use WSD to move the camera. This is what I'm used to, but uh, it's not not the case here. Again, uh, inter interior panel. Um, all right, let's go ahead and do start from this wall. Actually, is it? I'm trying to do it exactly. F All right. This might be a little crowded for some people. All right. I don't remember how many I should get, but I do want a, a fairly good number of tables. I'm going to cram this place. All right, so we're going to put, there we go, this will work. For those of you that want four people seat, yeah. We're also, we're also going to need, um, we'll just, we'll have this right now. We can open, we can put more seats down later. Um, what's this? Decorations? No. Nah. Rooms and textures, we'll come back to that later. Actually, does it cost anything? Steakhouse wall, there we go. What's this? Floor pattern? Not a whole lot of choices here. All right, that'll. Ugh, 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 ugh. No, wood. All right. Uh, lighting. Accessories. Yes, we need the reception desk. Hopefully, I don't... all right. Is this the right? We have to rotate it. How do we rotate? Ah, there's a little button here. Adjust items. Maybe we have to put it down first. Well, no, it just says adjust. It doesn't say anything about rotate. Performance stages. That's weird. I don't think that. Oh, no, I want to adjust this. How do you adjust? Control Z A R for rotate? No. Hmm. 
got to be a rotate button. Oh, well, now space resets the camera. All right, so let's get back. Yep. So how do you rotate in this game? I'm sure it's here somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. Let me check the key binds real quick, assuming there are any game options. Uh, interface input, mouse sensitivity. Oh, that doesn't help. What's this down here? Apply, auto detect. I, I don't see key binds anywhere, unfortunately. Kind of stinks. All right, so what happened to my, did I sell it? I wonder if I sold that podium. All right, yeah, it's just, it's gonna be awkward. People are gonna come in and, well, no, that, that's, that might be right. All right, well, let's just we'll roll with it for right now. I was hoping to be able to rotate this. Oh, wait, holding it, holding the button. Oh, okay, hold the left mouse button in and then doing that. All right, all right, I got it. I got it. I got it. I so smart. Now we need kitchen stuff. All right, now, how do we do that? Is there a interior? Okay, here we go. Dumb waiter. It's only for the second floor. Dishwashing. Yeah, we're going to need dishwashing. Uh, we're going to need a stove. All right, again, rotate. I'm going to put... I gotta turn this thing around like so. It's getting caught up. All right, so stove is there. I did not want to hit again. W A S D. Uh, I was trying to use that for the camera, and I keep forgetting that it's not that. All right, so open this back up. Waiting station. Um, put that by the door. Indoor grill. Do we need that? Dishwashing machine. Well, I guess we'll put that... I'm not going to rotate the damn camera again. Oh, get me a bit dizzy. All right, there. Dishwasher. Food processor. Kitchen table. Actually, I wonder if... Actually, we could put another stove here at some point. I'm, I'm hoping that we can just get by on one chef for right now. But let's put the microwave in. And we'll put the food processor in. And that should do it. Indoor grill. I don't know if we'll need that or not, but we'll go ahead and put it in anyway. In case we have to make burgers or something. Okay. Well, how much money do we have left? I didn't even look at my finding. Okay, it's in the upper left-hand corner here. Um, I currently cannot see it because my FPS number uh it, yeah my indicator is covering that yeah so that sucks i wonder if there's another menu somewhere stats maybe average restaurant rating that's goal opening hours i could increase or decrease that as i need to customer sharing tables yeah that's pretty funny all right well now that we've got that i think we need to hire some staff right i've got one yep that's the chef I'm going to hire, uh, I don't need to hire another chef. I'll just be me. Captain, um, we need a captain. This one's a little bit better. Slightly, I mean, you can see the, the yellow here. I think that's the job skill. So we'll hire, hire this captain. And then we want to hire this server. She's looking pretty good. And this server here, hopefully we don't hire too many servers. Two's good. Two should be fine. Uh, we need a kitchen porter and a receptionist. Check. And... Good. Okay, so our staff is good to go. Um, we had a uh, menu that we were looking at. Food menu. Now with a 0% discount, I can set discounts. Yeah, so there's right now, now there's nothing on my menu. So I need to do that. Recipe menu, okay. Uh, baked eggs with cheese. So these are the ingredients. And you can increase or decrease the quality of some of these ingredients. And you can even acquire better ingredients from like people that'll come into the restaurant. Like they'll say, for $3,000, I'll let you have this uh, 
egg or this this f uh, unique flower or whatever high quality stuff four stars and that'll improve your meal uh, so whenever you cook it people will like it more um, so I need to cycle through these I guess and add them add food to menu I don't want to add too many because then I'd like if you focus on one or two things, your chef does get better at cooking them. Uh, cinnamon. Okay, so that's rating is 58%, 64%, 40, 66, 55. I'm looking. Oh, home fries with wild mushrooms. I wouldn't eat it. Sage buttermilk biscuits. With well, that sounds good, except for the sausage. Salmon wrapped poached eggs. Ew. Well, it costs seven forty-five. All right. Um. Baked eggs with cheese. I mean, that is a that's a staple. I'm gonna add that. Um, I don't wanna add all of them. Cinnamon uh, cream biscuits with bacon and roasted onions. That sounds good. Cooking time is long, though. I'm going to try and cut that down. 66% for these creamy scrambled eggs. Again, I'm, I want something that doesn't take long to cook. Fried eggs with vegetable confetti. Eh. I will cater to my vegetarian friends, and it's easy to cook, too. Home, yeah, I, 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 the only reason I'll pick it is because of the rating, but I, I personally would not eat that. Home fries with wild mushrooms, blech. Uh, how many grits souffle again? Three, three clocks there. I don't know. I want stuff that's easy, easy to make. Okay, seventy-three percent. Two cookie. Okay, that's good. All right, any other one stars or one, one cooking time thing? Doesn't look like it. All right, that's good for right now. Let's go to uh, appetizers. Cycle through these real quick. I want to see what the low cooking times are and high rate okay crab meat crap uh, it's certainly crap crap ow with cream 78 percent i'll add it because of its rating what does this mean close up new recipe oh, okay it's 40 percent forget that cooking time a uh, garden salad yes let's do that low rating but easy to make wow Grilled tuna, four cooking, yeah, four, yeah, it's 75%, but it's going to take forever to make. My chef is only one person. 67%, hot and cold oyster, pl ugh. This is not American food. Where's my burgers at? All right, this, uh, asparagus, sure. So, ooh, mixed seafood salad. Ugh. Muscles with sand. That's not an appetizer. Mozzarella sticks is an appetizer. Oh my goodness. Alright, again, looking for low cooking times. I think. Stop spider crab. Three cook. Yeah, mm -mm. What was that? Veal and bacon or something or other? I don't know what that is. It's 42% rating. I'll pass on that for right now. Oh, so many choices. So many choices. Caesar salad. Easy cooking time. That's what I like to see. 58%. Caribbean fruit salad. Yes. Cobb salad. Yes. I am all about the salads. Crab salad. It's 42%. Can we remove that? I think we have to go to the... How do you remove a food that's been added? That's $12.40, $12 so fine. I'll let them... All right, so I think we've cycled through all those soups. Uh, broccoli and cheese. How is that only 39%? That stuff's, that stuff's awesome. Chicken noodle, five cooking time. Nope. I like chicken noodle, but not the cooking time. Cream of mushroom. Creamy potato, three, really? Pumpkin. Lobster bisque. Again, I don't like... Let's see if there's any other ones that have a slower cooking time. Or faster cooking time. Broccoli... Alright. I'll add... Even though it's cheap and... Yeah, it's just... I'm not going to add too many of these. What's... Where's that other one at? 78% lobster bisque. 
And New England clam chowder, I guess we'll add that. I like clam chowder. Alright, time for the main courses. Uh, American's favorite pork chops. Cooking time, okay. Pork, yeah, I like pork chops. Uh, asparagus and cheese, ooh, way to ruin an omelet. Ham! Uh, baked broccoli with macaroni and cheese, yes! That's my kind of food. Uh, baked potatoes with spiced. I don't like the spiced, but I'll, I'll add it because 71%. Um, again, looking for high ratings and low cooking times. That's a high cooking time. I like the cream of broccoli baked potato, but five clocks. Mm -mm. No, 67 for cream chicken with corn and bacon over. I don't know what that is. Polenta? Oven fried cod, 42%. It's not great, but it's cheap, easy. Crunchy chicken cutlets. Yes, the kids will love it. Fish burgers with spicy sauce. I'll eat it without the spicy sauce. Fish wellington. Yes. I like fish. Fish with garlic breadcrumbs. Also very easy to make. 39 rating, though. Uh, we can, again, we can try and get ingredients to improve that. Grilled eggplant. I don't want to get too, too many here added to the menu. Any ones with another, I'm looking for high rating. 75% Louisiana deviled crab cakes. I will add those. Alright, um, macaroni and cheese with tomatoes. Alright, no tomatoes though. Salmon Wellington. All right. I have so many items on the menu, it's ridiculous. I need to stop. I need to cut down on that. Santa Fe Meatloaf. Five cook... Yeah, I want to add it, but not that... Mm -mm. Hey, what was that? One cooking time. Steamed clams and wine. All right. Yeah, if this becomes too much for my chef, I'm going to have to remove some items from the menu. All right, let's go ahead and add dessert. Uh, 71%. Almond waffles with strawberries. Interesting. Just ice cream. Blueberry muffins. Everyone likes blueberry muffins. Blueberry smoothie. 39%. No, pass. Uh, there we go. Guilt-free cappuccino sundaes. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Uh, back down here. Add. Mmm, mango fins with vanilla ice cream, I guess. Mo Mocha ice cream sundae, 56%. Alright. Again, very easy to make. 76% cork tart on peach sauce. Yes, one clock. Seafood, quish, quish, whatever. If I can't pronounce it, it's not American. Uh, looking for higher percentages here. All right, we're good. Okay, so now that we've got that, uh, let's check our menu out. View food. Okay, so we've got three desserts. Uh, I've got, no, we've got six desserts. Got a lot of main courses here. You might have to get rid of some of these, like the broccoli and cheese soup. That's only two and a half stars. Fish with garlic breadcrumbs, although they're easy to make. Hopefully the people like it. Okay, so now we can open our restaurant. Colt 45 is open for business. Yeehaw! Okay. Where's the chef? Oh, there I am. Okay. And I know you can actually move people too. There's uh, I think what restaurant list or something. Information center adventure mode only available in the RPG game. Yeah, basically the campaign. I don't know there's a way to move them too. I just don't remember how to do it. But yeah, your your rating is based off of food, service, environment. My environment sucks right now. I don't have very many decorations out there. Exterior in view, that's that's the outside. You can actually improve the outside of the place. In a limited fashion. Oh, it looks like we've got our first customers coming in. Looks like your husband's already at the table. He's hungry. Oh, he's checking his phone. 
out of my restaurant. We don't do that here. Staff panel, maybe? I know there's a way to transfer. Raise lower salary. Transfer. There we go. Transfer staff. Fire staff. Switch to list mode. And we can... If I remember right, we can get more, uh, at least in campaign mode, you can get other properties and buy them, and you can switch between your restaurants through this up here. Leave restaurant. Yeah, there should be a list of restaurants I own. Now, there's a 4% up here in the very top. That means that's how many, that's how filled my restaurant is at the moment. That looks like we're, what are you tapping your foot for? You're the only one in line, and, and we're serving you, so... Now, you can't actually click on these guys like you can in The Sims and find out their stats. Uh, I just have to hope that we make some money off this. We need to fill these tables. Uh-oh, she's got a quest. I have to wait till this arrow is green before I can actually talk to her. There we go. We click on her. Now I'm talking through the wall. Fish Wellington is prepared in a special way, not like the hack and slash techniques you use. And 9,000 is all that's keeping me from telling you how to properly make it. Your recipe will improve by 10 points. Again, it would help if I could see my cash. Um, I'm trying to see past the FPS indicator, and I can't see it. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save my money and make sure that I've got enough saved up to buy more tables and everything else I might need. I'll, I'll worry about improving my recipes later. This is the endless mode anyway, so I can I can spend all day, months, I can spend however long I want trying to uh, perfect my characters and my restaurants. So I don't have to spend all my money right away. So yeah, um, there's a second floor as well. There's a button down here you can click on, go upstairs. That's what the dumbwaiter is all about. The dumbwaiter will t bring food up here. Otherwise, the waiters have to walk up the stairs. There's also speed indicators down here that you can click on. The uh, campaign is much more structured than this. You'll be tasked with doing multiple things and even competing, I think. At least in the first one, you had to compete in uh, various competitions. And you had to do a series of mini games uh, while you were cooking. So far, so good. All she's doing is standing in front of the, the dishwasher. Maybe I didn't need both. What are you mad about? All right, customer panel. I couldn't see that. Ordered food, customer complaints. No complaints. I didn't see any complaints. And there's, I believe, a rush, too, uh, during certain times of the day. Like, right now, it's 5.05 .05 p.m. I'd hate to think that this was our rush. That was pretty sad. We got, like, three people. Unless they're coming in now. He's already pissed off. He just sat down. He's having a bad day. Customer complaints. Having afternoon tea. Bill amount is $13.80. Oh, he seems to be happier. There's a the, there's cash that appears above their head when they leave, and it's either like green or orange or red. That usually signifies how happy they are with everything. So I think, I think we're okay. The restaurant needs more lighting. I can't believe the restaurant calls this beverage. Oh. Server Mary is impolite. Well, I guess I, I could do something about the lighting. I don't really care about the whole polite thing right now. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I don't know if you guys actually heard drilling or not, but my neighbor next door is just doing construction in his backyard. It's very, very noisy. Sam and Wellington is prepared in a special way. Okay, so basically for $13,000... She's willing to help me increase... No, forget it. Not right now. We'll do that later. So, uh, yeah, like I said, my neighbor is doing construction, and it's very loud, and I have a feeling it's going to go on for a while. So, hopefully this gives you a small taste as to what you're in for, should you decide to pick up this game. And my 
God, stop the drill for five minutes so I can end this damn video. Anyway, uh, if you guys haven't already, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. Also, let me know if you guys want to see more of this game. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Ooh, wholesale ingredient supplier outlet. Okay, so what do I get? Milky Milks and Dairy is one of your major suppliers. Okay, so now I can buy ingredients from them. Anyway, this is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.